Fatty liver disease. Do you have it? Do I have it? Do animals get it? Our liver, big organ, huge organ, performs probably 80 or 90 different jobs in the body. This organ is so cool. God in nature gave it special powers. It can regrow and repair unlike many other organs. You can't grow a kidney. You can't grow a heart. You can regrow a portion of your liver if you have to have it removed. It's really cool. But when we drink alcohol, which is a toxin, it's a poison, acetaldehyde has to be taken care of by the liver first and that consumes the liver's time and so it's not doing very well at all of the other jobs until that alcohol has been dealt with. But alcohol is not the only thing that causes a fatty liver. When you over drink a lot of alcohol, your liver gets fat and then cirrhosis starts happening. It's bad. But if you eat a lot of fruit, if you have a lot of high fructose corn syrup, if you eat a lot of table sugar, which is 50% glucose and 50% fructose, the liver sees it the same way it sees alcohol. And the liver has to process the toxin, the poison called fructose. Yes, the monosaccharide sugar fructose is a poison. Did you know that? I think you knew alcohol was a toxin. Did you know that fructose is a toxin? It is. And the liver has to process it. It gets preoccupied doing that. It's getting fatty because of that. And you can get cirrhosis of the liver from never having alcohol, but having tons and tons of fructose for a long period of time. Non-alcoholic fatty liver is what that's called. And more and more people, I was going to say Americans, but people are getting a fatty liver and they're not alcohol drinkers. This is because of the candy and the cake and the processed food and all the high fructose corn syrup laced sodas, fruit juices, and drinks. There's so much fructose. There's fructose, high fructose corn syrup and ketchup and barbecue sauce and other condiments. You read ingredient labels on processed food, you're going to see fructose or a form of it in so many foods. We don't realize how much of this we're consuming and people are getting a big belly because of a fatty liver. That is called bad fat. That fat in and on and around the liver spreads to other organs. You get a fatty pancreas, you get a fatty tongue, you get a fatty heart. It's so unhealthy and people are dying. They're getting diseases related to this. So I want to encourage you to think about what you put into your mouth. Try not to consume alcohol at all, ever. All right, people will say, oh, it's okay to have some. Well, what is some? Some, to some people, is one drink a day. I tell you that's too much. Some people will say, oh, I can have one drink a week. Maybe that's okay. And you know, I would say if you're going to have alcohol, you have it on a holiday and you have one. But people want to drink because they want to get drunk. They want to get a little drunk, a little tipsy. They like the feeling. And to get to that point, you don't just have one drink. You have two or three in a sitting to get yourself to feel that way. And a lot of people who do that, they drink multiple times a week. And it's bad. It's unhealthy. That's alcoholic fatty liver. And that's going to cause a lot of problems. Let's say you don't drink alcohol at all, but you eat a lot of junk food. Same thing. You're feeding your body fructose. The liver has to process that. It gets fatty. It's unhealthy. The liver will convert some of that to glucose, but it stores a lot of it as fat. So I encourage you all to stay away from high fructose corn syrup. I say stay away from fruit. I do. But like that one drink a week that you can have, in my opinion, if you want to have a few berries, you can have a handful 
every couple of days maybe. Just don't tax your liver. All right, understand if I put this in my mouth, it does this to my body. And everybody has a different bandwidth, what they can tolerate. We all want to be happy and healthy. I think we don't want to feel pain. We don't want to be in the hospital. We don't want to have a disease. And I encourage everybody to eat to that end. And you will be healthier and live your optimized version of your life because you ate well. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so leave the alcohol and the fruit in the same category as the cigarettes, that you don't partake in them. That's my opinion. Have a great day.